guys. So for this look, I'll be using this little design that I have drawn up and you can cover your brows if you want to. I'm not going to do a full brow block for this particular look, but I'll leave the link down below and up in the right hand corner if you want to see how I do block my brows. So even though I did make a design for this look, since we're going for a pretty realistic looking skull, I am using my natural bone structure as a guide as well. So you can just kind of feel around and see where you want to add any curves or hollows. And I'm just using a white eyeliner from NYX to do all this rough outlining. And this is just a very rough outline for now. So as we go, we can change and modify it as we see fit. Um, we just want a general guide right now so we can kind of see where we're going. And I'm using a white eyeliner for this part rather than a brown or black or red or anything, just so that it's a lot easier to cover up since we will be painting over with a white. For the teeth, I like to start in the center and work my way out. That way I can have everything nice and evenly spaced and I can make sure I have the right number of teeth on each side and I'm curving the last few teeth up just slightly on each side so it's not completely straight and it has a bit of a natural curve to it and also I have seven teeth on each side top and bottom and if you have kind of wrinkly lips like I do you can pull your lips a little bit taut so then it's easier to draw out those lines so here we have our very basic outline and now I'm going to go in with a very small brow pencil to outline that ripped and jagged skin around the face and for this part, you can really do anything that you want to. You can make it as jagged as you want or as smooth as you want. You could do a smooth round circle all the way around. You can bring it in further if you want to see less of the skull and more of your skin. So yeah, just have fun with it. And you can see here that I am going to change mine as I go because I didn't have it far enough in. Um, so you can just kind of play with it and see what you like and what works for you. So this is what I have for right now. As I said, I'm gonna go in in a little bit and change it. But for now, we're going to fill in the entire skull area minus the hollowed out areas and the teeth using a white body paint. You could also use an off-white body paint if you don't want it to be completely white. This one I'm using is a Mayron Paradise paint, which is a water activated body paint. And then once I have filled everything in with this paint, I'm going to go over it with a white cream makeup on my beauty blender. This one is Ben Nye's Clown White, which is a very thick product. So as you can see, it kind of stands up on the sponge when you just try and pick it up. So what I like to do is put some on the back of my hand and kind of blend it out on the back of my hand first and then start stippling it onto my face because it makes it a lot easier. Um, I really do prefer the Clown White Light from Ben Eye. I am just out of it right now, so I've been using the Clown White, which is a lot thicker, but you can get by. Then as you can see here, I've so far covered my right brow using just that cream makeup. So I'm just taking a little bit on the tip of my beauty blender. You could also use a brush or even your finger probably. Um, and I'm just smoothing that over the brow hairs and kind of pressing to flatten them down. And I have pretty thick brow hairs and I have to say it did a pretty decent job. This is just going to be a temporary fix, but if you do have thinner or lighter brows, it should make your brows pretty much undetectable. And then this is when I realized I wanted to bring that ripped skin in further on my cheeks because you weren't going to be able to see it if you were just looking at it from the front. So preferably you would want to fix that before filling it in with the white. But yeah, we're going to fix that later. But for now I'm going in with a colorless face powder and just setting the heck out of that cream makeup. If you do not set the cream makeup, it's going to come off on everything. Now I'm going in with the teeny tiniest paintbrush that I own and some black eyeshadow. You could also use gray if you want to. And I'm just going to lightly outline around the gum line of all the teeth. So that way when we go and fill them in with white, we still know where they're supposed to go since we did outline them using the white eyeliner to begin with if we would just fill them in with white we wouldn't know where any of our teeth were really supposed to go so yeah we're just going to outline them very lightly and this is also where i'm starting to modify some of my lines where our hollows and shading are going to be So 
So now we're just going to go ahead and fill in all of our teeth using the white body paint. I'm not going over it with the cream or anything, just the water activated paint. And as I'm filling these in, I'm trying to leave little spaces in between each of the teeth where the outlines are going to go. That's not totally necessary, but I decided to do it that way. So for the outlines, I'm going back to that teeny tiny paintbrush in black or gray eyeshadow and just outlining around each of the teeth. I think it was Elsa Ray that I saw do this rather than going just straight in with your black body paint for the outline, which is completely genius because about nine times out of 10, I will completely mess up my outline and have to do a bunch of correcting with the white paint. So this is pretty genius. Outline them first with an eyeshadow and then a body paint. So at this point, I decided to pretty much finish one half of my face so that I could kind of have a better plan going forward because I wanted to get done filming a little bit earlier than usual, but little fact, I still got done filming at 3 a.m., so yeah. You can see here that I decided to move in that little bit on my cheek so that you could see it better from the front. I wish I would have brought it in a little bit more even, but it still works. So now I'm going in with my black body paint on that teeny paintbrush and carefully outlining around all the teeth. I'm not really sure why I decided to start with the outside teeth. I would actually recommend you guys start with the center teeth and work your way out since I think in general, the center teeth are going to be more in front as you work your way back. I don't know if that makes sense. I can't figure out how to word it. I think you know what I mean. I hope so. Anyways, so now I'm just filling in the hollows using my black body paint on a flat rounded shadow brush. And for the temple, I am just applying kind of the leftover body paint to that line and then blending it back toward the hairline. I'm then blacking out my entire waterline using the NYX slide on pencil in jet black and then we're going to start outlining around that ripped jagged skin using the black body paint on that tiny paintbrush and you don't need to completely hash out all your details for this one because we're still going to go in and shade and clean up and redefine. So we just want our basic outline here just so that we can see it. And this is also where I'm bringing in that outline on my cheek area. Then I completely forgot to fill in my nose with the black, so I'm doing that now and I'm using this small kind of pointed angled concealer brush to clean up some of my black edges. And then for all the finer details around the eyes and the cracks, I'm using that tiny paintbrush with my black body paint and I'm kind of going to go back and forth between this brush and my concealer brush and some eyeshadows until I'm happy with all the details and the shading. You can look at a bunch of different reference photos to kind of see what you like and what you don't like. You don't have to do any cracks. You can do a ton of cracks. And it also kind of depends on how realistic or how cartoonish you want your skull to look. You don't need to add any details really if you want it to be very cartoony. I'm going to use a gray and a light brown or tan eyeshadow as well as my black eyeshadow to add some shading and dimension around the brow bone, on the forehead, around the eye sockets and nose as well as above and below the teeth and along the jawbone, especially underneath that cheekbone that is going to be over top of the jawbone. Really anywhere that you want to add depth. And I'm starting out with my gray shadow because it's the lightest one and then I'm gonna go over it, go over it with my tan, which is gonna make it a little bit deeper. And then at very last, I'm going over with a little bit of black just to deepen it even more. I'm also using my gray and tan shadows to add some highlights to the inside of the hollows of the nose and eye sockets, just so that it's not completely flat, flat black, again, adding some dimension and life to it. 
I'm using my Sigma pencil brush for all the shading and then if I need to tone it down a bit and blend it out, I'm just going in with a clean blending brush to do that. For the bottom teeth, I'm leaving a little white space in between the teeth and my shading underneath so that it looks a little bit more raised. And I am shading the darkest up top toward the teeth and then blending it out as I move down. Some parts of the shading are gonna be connected as I move along and other parts are just going to be shaded down from in between two of the teeth. And here you can see I'm using my black shadow to shade in from those very back teeth so that they appear to be further back than the rest of them. And again, giving it kind of that curved illusion. And then I'm also gonna use my gray and black shadows to shade along the gum line of the top teeth and add some shading in between each of the teeth. And as I move out, I'm kind of bringing the shading up a little bit further. And then I'm using my brush that had the white body paint on it to help blend out those lines. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going back in with a tiny bit of black eyeshadow and just darkening that shading right along the teeth. At this point, I randomly decided this is what I wanted to add my black eyeshadow to my lid and around the bottom of my eye. And then I'm going back and redefining the outlines of the teeth using the black body paint. And I'm also using that black body paint to deepen the shading along the top of the teeth. And then I'm just going back in to kind of redefine some of the shadows that I felt needed to be a little bit darker as well as some of the cracks. And like I said, you can do as few or as many as you would like to. I just kind of went until I was happy with it. And for the cracks, you'll want to use a light pressure so that you have nice thin lines. You can press down harder to make your lines a little bit bigger and create via create variations in the width and the depth of the crack. You can also create holes. I think one of the main things is to try and make your lines more jagged and rough rather than smooth and wavy. So we're just about done now. We're gonna go in and add some shading around the inside edge of that ripped skin around the face. So I'm starting out with my tan eyeshadow and then we're gonna follow that up with a red eyeshadow followed by a black eyeshadow. I'm trying not to completely evenly shade it all the way around and making some areas darker. If I have the skin curving down, I'm gonna have a shadow that's darker underneath those areas. So I don't want it to be completely even. And then I'm going in with the black and really focusing that right along the outline because that's where I want it to be the deepest. Then I'm going in with some makeup remover on a cotton bud to help clean up where I had some of that white makeup before and to help define those edges even more, I'm going in with my NARS concealer on an angled eyeliner brush. This one is the Sigma E06, I think. And I'm just applying that concealer along the outside edges and then I'm just blending it out a little bit with my finger. Now, you may not even need to do this part if you didn't have to modify your edge like I did, but it doesn't hurt. I'm then adding some shading using the tan eyeshadow just around the outside edges, again leaving a little space in between the shading and the outline just so the skin appears to be a little bit more raised right along the edge. And I was kind of doing this part a little bit quickly because I was getting exhausted, I was getting late, but hopefully it still looks okay. And then last but not least, I am going around my entire outline again with the black body paint on this super tiny paintbrush to just really define that. And this is where you really want to add all of your details and all of your jaggedness. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this look, guys. I hope that you really enjoyed it. If you wanna stay more up to date, please be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. The handles will be down below. I'm able to update much more frequently on there than I am on here. And if you made it this far, let me know in the comments if you're entering the next Face Awards this year.